This is a haunted forest and we just spent 24 hours in it. Can we just leave? Yeah. I wanna go, go, man. Anyways, this is how it all went. So we just made it to the camps. We have 24 hours to survive in here and we brought all of our items. What do you wanna do first? I wanna set up a tent before it gets dark. I really don't wanna sleep like on the dirt. I'm kinda terrified. I don't know how to set up a tent. You're gonna learn how to set up a tent today. First of all, find the tent. Which one's the tent? What's with the trick question? I don't know, is it this? No, this looks like a sleeping bag. No way, I think this is the tent. No. That's a sleeping bag. I feel like that's a trick question because it was in there and I like. So this is the tent that Timu sent us. We're gonna be testing it out tonight. Kinda matches your outfit, right? <laughs> Guys, rate the fit. Rate the camp fit with the tent also. We have Will today. Will.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one knows me. That's our W videographer today. He likes to kiss me. Literally all I want right now is s'mores. That's a night thing. I know, but I can't stop thinking about it. So let's just do this. Okay. I can't stop thinking about my survival. Oh. I have something to tell you guys. These woods are actually haunted. I didn't tell you, Andrew, because I know you're afraid of ghosts. I know you're afraid of the dark, but I thought it would be funny uh. to set you up here in a haunted forest. There is a crazy ghost story that happened here in this spot, but I'm going to tell you during the bonfire when we're doing ghost stories and it's spooky at nighttime. But Andrew's a scary cat around here. Why? My one day, I was gonna have fun. I was gonna eat good food, drink the drinks that I like. <laughs> and you do this to me? I mean, you like <clears throat> the location, and then <sighs> you like the location, and then we found out it was haunted, but I thought it would, like, you know, why not? See if you could get over being, you know, scared. It's actually crazy. It looks completely normal right now. But when right it's now. dark, we'll see so, the ghost wait, what, that lives in this forest. What happens? Do they attack? Are we going to be in trouble? You're going to have to wait until the bonfire. I need the atmosphere to be right to tell okay, you. Okay, okay, screw that, screw that. I need to make sure where I'm sleeping tonight, it's safe. I won't get touched by these. Like, I don't... Oh. Are you good? <laughs> This hurts so bad. Wait, this is kind of embarrassing. I was just walking, looking at my phone, looking at TikTok, and I just tripped over this. Wow. Let's see. Bro, why does it hurt so bad? I've never had my shin hurt this bad before. Oh, oh my. That was fast. That was like in three minutes. Wait, look, show. Look at that. That's not good. Ow. Guys. Let me. There, there. <laughs> Because I just went through this and we're almost at 1 million subscribers, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. If we hit a million subscribers, my leg will heal. <laughs> now I'm gonna be limping all video, guys. The stuff that I have to do. Bro, I'm gonna give you some more bad news. Since the, my I, tent didn't work out, Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll just stay in your tent with you guys. Three oh. people in one. What do you think? See, okay, so the problem where I'm having, you know? That's a two person tent and there's three of us here. What, what uh, happens? Like, are we breaking laws if we put three people in a tent? In a two-person tent? You can't sleep on the ground. Okay, fine. Three-way. Hey, hey, Three-way hey, tonight. Hey, hey, I would love to cuddle with you. Oh. <laughs> Another great news. It's about to rain. There's like a 90% chance of rain. Uh, oh, my leg hurts so bad. Guys, and it's gonna rain. I don't know if I, I can do this. 24 hours. I'm telling you this forest is haunted and this is the proof. It's Bro, I, for I already forgot this forest is haunted. Yeah, wait, wait is that correlated? Like, can we like talk about the wind right now? It is so windy. Out of nowhere too. The, it was perfectly still air and now it's super windy. It was windy. so sunny too and now it's all gray and windy and you just hurt yourself. That means oh, the ghosts are coming. I don't really want to. Wait, eat. I have a challenge to only spend $100 on food and supplies to survive in the wild for 24 hours. So, I guess we gotta go on Timu and now buy all of the supplies. All right, now let's go on Timu and figure out what we need to buy for the camping trip. First of all, obviously, I don't have a tent, so we need to find a tent that is cheap enough so we don't use all of this. Okay, camping tent. Okay, we're definitely not getting the six person tent. There's only gonna be three people, I believe, that are camping with us. Emmy and Will, and me, so two others. So we don't need too big of a tent. Let's see, the car. 95 bucks, all right. We're really cutting it close now. I have a feeling that this is probably gonna be the majority of the $100 that we have to spend. There you go, we just hit 100 bucks in the cart. Go to checkout. We are now submitting order. 
In order to buy as many items as we can on a limited budget, we use the website team. As you can see, we can buy so many things with just $100. Now that we ordered everything, it's going to take about five days to ship to me. So after that, we're going to go survive in the wild for 24 hours. Okay, now we're done with setting up the camp and we don't have any wood for the fire tonight. So we need to use these trees and find wood. Are you ready for that? Time to pick up six. All right, so we're looking around through the forest right now. Um... Okay, what are we thinking? <laughs> Is this the stick we're going for? I feel like I can find something bigger. I'm not gonna lie. I found the best stick. Look at this big stick. I think they're gonna be happy with me. My nails are so cute. <laughs> Got all these sticks. Oh, easy enough. All right, let's bring this over. This looks like a good stick. Whee! How many sticks did you find? All of that. What? Wait, those sticks were not there before. What just happened? I'm like really good at picking up sticks. I guess I guess that's why she was so excited when I said we were picking up sticks. I just really want s'mores, and I know s'mores is. After this, because we're gonna make a fire. She just wants to use me for s'mores. Guarantee you, 100%. The only reason why we're friends right now is because she wants s'mores. No matter what I do, the only thing I hear from her mouth is s'mores. S'mores. They want s'mores. S'mores. So what do I do, guys? Do I make her s'mores or do I prank her instead? Because she did technically bring me here without even telling me that this place is haunted. We're collecting sticks in the haunted forest. I feel like it's kind of unfair that she wants s'mores for me while I'm doing all the work. Just like grinding life away trying to survive in the haunted forest for 24 hours. I don't know. I really don't know. All right, guys. So I found like maybe like five sticks, ten sticks, somewhere around there. But obviously you saw that my leg got like really hurt earlier in the vlog. So I'm starting to walk back towards camp. I don't know if I could do this. My leg hurts too much. We have no wood for the fire. I cut all this wood. Wait, what? Where, where did they go? You cut There's all this no wood? There's no way. I did. <laughs> While what? you were busy trying to set up that tent, I was cutting wood. Who is this lady? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, no, we just want to make sure you knew how to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Welcome back to Cooking with Andrew in the Wild. We got our special guest today, Emmy. I'm just waiting for the s'mores. All also, right. can we talk about how it's almost 9 p.m. and I haven't had food yet? I haven't had food all day. All right, so we got our knife right here. We're cutting. Okay. Come on first. Fun. I don't think you're supposed to use the ax as a knife. Okay. How are you supposed to use it then? Uh, for wood, probably. Oh, so like this? Okay. Ready for a big explosion? Uh-oh. Big explosion? What is he talking I'm about? I'm stepping away. Oh. Be careful. Don't burn your hair off. Oh, oh. amazing. But that's too much. <laughs> but I, okay, so we got the, the glizzies open. How many glizzies do you want tonight? Um, one or two. Anyways, okay. Back to cooking. Ah, uh, ah, uh, what the Those things don't suck you. Pause. Yeah. Oh, never mind. That's a dragonfly. That? It's a dragonfly. Oh, dragon it's huge. Bro, that thing slapped That's a huge me. dragonfly. That thing just slapped me, bro. Damn. Is this dragonfly haunted, bro? Oh my- I think it actually is, I'm not gonna lie. It's be- Ooh, it's moving mad. Ooh! Oh, I'm holding the light. That's why. Come over here. Every bug is attracted to- That's why he's going to it. See? You ever heard the expression, like, moths to a flame? Oh, no, it's- it's every bug. <laughs> Dude, it's fat! <laughs> Guys, there's a fat dragonfly attacking us That is right the now. biggest dragonfly I've ever seen. Me too. Cooking with Andrew Pat. Thank you for uh, joining us after that ad break. Anyways, two glizzies right here. I, I want to roast them in the fire with a stick. Well, you ain't. Why? It's being cooked by Chef Andrew Pat. Can you just cook the corn? Like, uh, you're supposed to just roast them on a stick. She's judging the chef right now. You want your own food? You want to cook your own food? How about this? You That's do what she I was willingly you enough to cook your, your food for you, but now you're trying to cook your own food? Go ahead. Go ahead. Take your glizzy. <laughs> from Timu, and they're like these little pitchforks. Skewer, I think? Skewer, yeah, or something. So, I'm gonna put one, and we're gonna see how... Oh. Thank you, Put it like this. Look at that. Perfect. 
can't go wrong. Something tells me something's gonna go wrong. I'm worried that the stick isn't long enough. Pause. It isn't. I think it's more than average. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a different stick. Why is the wood stick on the ground? We can't use that anymore. No, it's not touching the ground. It definitely was at some point. It's fine. Just use the other ones. We have enough. Like put a nice. And then so you put it like this. <laughs> yeah. And then you give it a roast. You stink, Mr. Hot Dog. No one likes you. Oh, that's very close. Wow. I feel like you should probably be patient, put it a little higher. You're gonna burn that dog. Whoa, it's bubbling. Emmy, you were very confident. I think we should just let you do it. It just ruined my whole bit. What was your bit, buddy? Bro, Chef Andrew, bro. I we're have doing that with the, the the regular. Oh my god, it's like it's like growing warts. We are we're gonna roast it. How do you know when it's ready? You don't. Yeah, Chef Andrew, back at it again. Come save the day. Welcome back to Chef Andrew. Today today we're cooking. Glizzies. Two glizzies? Yes, please. How about you? Well, I want the other ones. How, how much? Let's start with two. <laughs> and it's raining right now, guys. Yeah, it's like sprinkling right now, so not optimal. Let's check in on our buddy. He's tweaking. Yo. Can we cook before the rain? I'm really concerned about this rain. Yeah, we should cook right now. Chef Andrew, we're here with our last 50 seconds of the show. Um, It is pour almost pouring rain, so food that in the fire. Rain? We got the chicken dogs. These are the ones we're eating because we're awesome. How many do you want? Uh, two. Two. Two dogs. Two dogs. So we got all the food ready. Now we're just putting it on the grill and waiting for it. Oh, yeah. And you're making a s'more, Chef Emmy. Is this <laughs> has my like stick a... that I use for the wean? Yeah, the dirty one. <laughs> I got dirty again? No. What? Bro, you keep putting it on the ground. No, oh, it's a different one. But it's on the ground. There was only one on the ground, so that's probably the one from before. Oh, okay. I don't know where the other one is, or whatever I get from here. Anyways, thank you for watching Cooking in the Wild show with Andrew Pav. The Pav dog. I haven't eaten in years, like hours, but this is so good. I love you, Andrew. I love you so much. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh. <laughs> This is like, if I wasn't so hungry, sick. Let's attend to me right now. <laughs> what, the, what, is, what is that? I'm making the ultimate <laughs> s'more. Hold on. I don't think That's not an stop. ultimate s'more. That's a burnt ah, s'more. Ah, I'm burning my fingers. I'm burning my fingers. Here it is. More Chick-fil-A sauce. More delicious. Mm. So we melted the chocolate here. We roasted the graham cracker. Kind of burnt, but it's good. I need to get as much water, rain water, on my hot dog as, as possible. Get the most natural experience. Nature's pee. And then see taste test. Mmm. Mmm. How is it? It's making a bit of a mess. <laughs> now that I'm here by the fire with Andrew, I think it's time for a ghost story. Ooh. I'm, I'm terrified right now. So this is the story on the place that we're at right now. It's time for a ghost story. Bruh, stop being dramatic. Just tell the story. Okay. Anyway, so over a hundred years ago, a man and a woman came here to camp. They were in love, well she thought they were in love. They were married and they had a happy family, but the two of them would come here to camp together. One night, the husband told his wife, I'm sorry to tell you this, I don't actually love you and I have another wife and a family. No. The woman was horrified messed up. and she tried to kill him, but she missed. Listen, the husband who felt so threatened threw her in the fire and she died. She has been haunting everyone at this exact campsite because this happened right here. Everyone who stays here, that path we saw earlier, you see her in burnt clothes and her face is burned off with her hair down like this. And she runs towards you and kills you. And that's the story. She's doing that to people who are here now? Yeah, that's the story. Was it this exact site? Yes. It wasn't that one? It's, I, this it's one? here, yeah. This fire. I mean, I don't know if it's the exact same, but probably. Well, bro, she's around. And Tell us. on top of that, the husband made it seem like it was an accident. She did it to herself and he fled with his family. And their children were left alone with no one. And they ended up just dying of being isolated and alone. Okay. That, that's... That's great. We're sleeping there? Yeah. Why? I mean, I just thought that was like a fun fact. I mean, it doesn't have to take away from the campsite. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> bro, bro, come on. I mean, where's the fun? <laughs> I think I'm missing something. The fun is like knowing if we're going to survive or... Well, we'll see what happens tonight. What is that? <laughs> That's great. We we learned a lot of new things today. Anyway, the ghost stories are over, so let's just have fun. What are you... 
by fun more do you s'mores? mean that's it just s'mores yeah how how am i supposed to sleep i don't know uh, i i kind of regret bringing this now why did you bring that i mean i didn't even know anything about like the haunt what's her name who got thrown in the fire i don't know well we better find out all right well actually things have been going pretty good for me and i'm not risking anything so i'm not partaking. wait you told us about the story I'm, I'm out i'm gonna go to the tent what are you even gonna do there's no wi-fi there's nothing we have no electricity i got things to do All right guys, it's the middle of the night and we got the Ouija board. We are in the haunted forest and we're gonna speak to the spirits that are apparently haunting us right now. If there are any haunted spirits here, show yourself. Are you doing that? No, you're joking, right? You're joking. Do stop. You, what? Do you want me to stop it? Am, am I supposed to stop Wait, this? what? Wait, you're not doing this. No, I don't think we should interfere okay. with it moving at all. What? No, you're not interfering. No, I'm legit like barely even touching it. It's on yet. Okay, well, I got that. I don't know. I feel like you're moving it. Bro, I just got chills. I feel like, okay, you're not moving. I swear I actually- Okay, wait, wait, keep it here. Okay. Okay, you get the next one. That was pretty obvious. If it moves, there's something. If there's any spirits out there right now, is there only one or multiple of you? You're not touching that. I'm I'm, I'm touching it. I'm not putting any- Oh, I mean like moving movement. it. I'm not putting movement. Where's it going? <laughs> I don't Say you're lying. <laughs> It can't be you both times. Oh, it's going towards a number. Oh, is that what is it? You said one or multiple? Yeah. That is not going for one. Yo. Is it three? Three. <laughs> <clears throat> if you were accidentally moving it, you wouldn't be moving it to this. No. To the no, correct no, no. answer. Like it wouldn't make sense. Yeah. What? Is this like a weird thing like where if we're both touching it, it all right, what are we asking? This, this is weird. I like don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it too. Okay, are you asking a question? Sure. Okay. I guess I'm gonna assume it's one of them or all of them. Do you have any intentions of doing anything to us tonight? No, no, don't. It's not supposed to move that way. No, 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 no. please. Oh no. Okay, I mean the no is over there. You want to change your mind? And it's just not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good at all. I want to like remove my fingers, but I feel like it messed things up. By doing things to us, does that mean it's gonna do bad things to us? Dude, I swear to God, I just saw something over there. No, stop messing with me. Are you serious? The moves? Like a silhouette of a, of a girl, bro. Just walking right there. I don't know if I want to face this way anymore. <laughs> well, I feel like we kind of have to talk to her, no? Like that's our best bet, right? All right, I'm not, I'm not looking there. Why is it not moving? Did you just no, hear <laughs> you, you heard that too? No, 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 wait, wait. Okay. We gotta take the camera. We, got, we have to leave this here. We have to leave this here. Leave this here and we gotta go into the forest right now. Okay, so we're now deep in the forest now. It's so creepy. We, we, we heard the screaming area from like the left side of the forest. So right now we're walking towards that area. You know, best case scenario, it's like a coyote. Coyote. I really hope. <laughs> that bush scared me. Just moved. <laughs> We're on edge. Man, I'm trying to like, trying to like not be scared. I don't know, I feel like a coward right now, but. You hear that too, right? Are you moving? Bro, I keep hearing those footsteps. It's like someone's running around us. Are you moving? No, what? obviously not. What the? Bro. I mean, this is crazy. There, there could be other campers, right? I'm pretty sure not. We're like the only ones around this area. I didn't see it. Oh. Like, I didn't see any other people, but I'm really just like hoping for the best right now. One. Dude, I don't wanna go that far. Bro, this is scary. I'm oh. like, we have to find it. We have to. Got oh, it, bro. This you is can so be in front. scary. Oh my god. I can't see anything except two feet away because of this light. But like, yeah. other than that, it's literally just pitch black. Okay, so like, I never realized how haunted this forest is, but there's been just sounds all night long. We've been hearing footsteps, screaming. It's insane. This ghost is actually real. We tested it with the Ouija board and we got so many answers from her, but let's try finding her anyways. Wait, wait, stop, stop walking. You hear that too, right? Yeah. There's still footsteps. Wait. What was that sound? That was... Oh, dude, look. Oh my oh, God. Wait. Oh. oh my God. Dude, wait. Oh my, my eyes weren't playing tricks bro, on me. You, you saw act, that too, right? Yeah. No, my eyes. Bro, it was like I, black and like it had like eyes on. I'm scared to look. I, I don't want to look back. Bro, it was we, like we a shadow figure. But I really hope. We have to make, have to make sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Back to the tent. Back to the tent. Back to the tent. Okay, okay, tent. Oh my god. Okay. 
Open it, open it. Hello? What? Open it. We're in trouble. Come on, hurry up. What? Yeah, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Open We're it. watching my show and it's getting good. So. What? What do you... Wait, what do you mean watching your show? We don't have internet. Wait, what? What? We don't... There's no Wi-Fi in the woods. <laughs> I downloaded a bunch of episodes, so don't worry about it. Alright, so now we're on our phones because we have an idea to do a prank on Emmy because we've been literally getting tortured tonight by these ghosts and she's been just watching K-drama. Comfortably. 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 We're gonna get back at her good with some grizzly bear noises. Alright guys, so we're walking up to the tent right now. We're like five feet away. I can't see because this flash is blinding me right now. We got you! <laughs> you want to be so comfortable sitting there with your K-drama? Are you kidding me? We have been tormented by this figure, which we should probably get in the tent pretty soon because that's really scary and it's probably somewhere nearby. But we got you! <laughs> Alright, let's get in. Cause, yeah, cause, yeah. Because we're, we're scared. It's uh, Yeah, I'm actually um, really scared. Okay. Alright guys, so we're in the tent now. Emmy's right here. Will's gonna be here in a second. He's He's in the woods taking a a bathroom break. We're going to bed. It's like 1.30 a.m. or something like that right now. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Good morning. Why? Why? Bro, you were sleeping on top of me. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Roll the footage back. Where am I? Oh, please tell me this is a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> How was your sleep? <laughs> it was good. I look like trash. I had a dream that I was in a tent and that I was sleeping on my best friend and I woke up and thank God it wasn't true. <laughs> Wait, I just realized we made it through the night and it's not scary anymore. That is true. We were being attacked all night. We did it. I told you, you guys are being dramatic. She what? didn't even experience what we experienced. At least we deserve a chill day. Yeah. For the rest of the 24 hours, I don't know about you, maybe maybe you can watch even more K-drama. My leg is also broken, so I can barely walk today. And the first thing I see when I walk out is one of our friends that we made last night. It's Pablo! Everyone, say good morning to Pablo. How you doing, Pablo? Oh my god. I just touched it. So yeah, we made a new friend. That's what happens when you go camping in the haunted woods. All right guys, so it's officially been 24 hours since we came to this campsite. It was honestly the most bizarre experience I've ever experienced in my life. We saw the craziest stuff last night. I don't really know if I'm gonna be coming back here because it was so scary, but we're enjoying our last few moments with the beautiful view of the, the big lake. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. We're almost at a million subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. See you next time.